You don't ask a private lender to borrow money. You give them an opportunity. And when they say no, you say next. Their loss, not yours. But what do you do when your private lender says yes? What's next then? Well, I'm gonna give you that seven step action plan so you can capture more private money. But before we begin, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell because I post cool stuff like this each and every week and you don't wanna miss it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Matt Terrio. I am CEO of Epic Real Estate, where I show people how to invest in real estate with an emphasis on retiring early. And one of the tools that we can use to retire early is OPM, other people's money. You see, you can get rich by using your own money, but you get wealthy using other people's money. Not to mention faster, much faster. OPM, it can be a bank's money, it can be hard money, the seller's money. It could even be cash advances from credit cards. Yep, they all count. And one of the bigger mysteries of OPM, for newer real estate investors especially, is private money. I mean, where do you find it? How do you get it? Everybody wants to know. So I recorded how to find private money lenders for real estate recently. And to my pleasant surprise, subscribers of this channel are raising private money for their deals based on what they learned in that simple video. And that's the greatest gift you can give me is sharing your successes with what you learn here. So thank you for that action takers, deeply grateful. And if you missed it, I put a link to that video below in the comments. Click show more and you'll see that link clearly labeled. So based on the response, it was apparent that video fell short in what do you do when your private money lender likes your deal and wants to give you the money for it? On that note, let me show you what to do next. But first, congrats. You deserve acknowledgement for your killer presentation and the smoking deal that you found. I mean, the first time you get your yes from a private lender, I mean, there's a feeling of relief and elation that comes over a person. But those two emotions are quickly eclipsed by panic. What do I do now is the common response. And it's not uncommon for it to be accompanied by some profane expletive. I remember it well. But there's a seven step action plan to take that'll bring it all together. Step one, take a deep breath. The hard part is over, you've got this. And because you do, it'd be a great time to pound that like button. Step two, connect with your closing agent. You'll need the title company name, their address, wiring information, and the closing date. Also, ask your closing agent for any additional paperwork or disclosures that may be required for private funding. Once you have all that, step three. Work with your private lender to expedite the process. Do as much of the heavy lifting as you can for them. And that begins with discovering where their funds are coming from. Are their funds at a bank? Are they in the stock market? Are they locked up in a retirement account? This is important to know because you're on the clock now and some forms of funds are more liquid and less regulated than others. Timeliness is key to your successful closing. For example, if your private lender is pulling funds from a retirement account, make sure the time frame coincides with your closing date, the closing date of your deal. The sooner you know where the funds are being held, the better. Typically, as soon as your private lender agrees to fund your deal would be the best time to ask so you can prepare and maintain the momentum that you're building. Mm -hmm. Retirement funds may require approval from an administrator of which can create delays. Explain this to your private lender and advise them that they'll need to stay on top of the process and in communication with their administrator. Mm -hmm. Step four, provide funding instructions. Give your private lender the option they can wire the funds directly to the title company or they can send a certified check payable to your closing agent or the title company. Do not have funds of any sort sent to you or your company. You don't want that type of liability. The laws are complicated and run deep when those funds fall directly into your possession. So best to avoid it altogether. Step five, get your private lender's information that they'd like to formally use on the loan docs. Probably best they consult their CPA before as there are tax implications based on whether they choose to lend personally using their social security number or via their business using their EIN or their retirement account. Don't offer advice here, direct them to a professional. Again, you don't need the liability if you happen to get it wrong. Step six, stay involved in the transaction until it's closed. Don't take it for granted that everyone is going to do what they said they're going to do. And don't be afraid to err on the side of micromanaging. Nobody gets paid until the deal is closed. So as long as you're not a total pest, most professionals will appreciate your diligence. Step seven, perform. Your private lender believes in you and your deal. And now you must make them happy that they do. 
honor your word. Do everything you said you're going to do to make this deal work. If you do, you will likely see that your private lender has more funds for you to use in the future. And they have friends with funds too. And they have family with funds also. It took some work to get this far to build that rapport and trust. And one bad deal can bring it all crashing down. So do good for your lenders and your partners because these types of relationships can take you far. Chris Warren, a private client of mine, met his private lender at one of our Epic intensives. And together, they've done millions of dollars of business over the last couple of years. What most people don't realize is that there's more money in people's existing networks than most of them could ever find deals for. The money is the easy part. Find the deal and the money will find you. What did you notice? What did you learn? Share with me in the comments below. And who do you know that may also find this valuable? Feel free to share it with them too. Thanks for watching. Take care.